Good morning and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here today with Shemp and Alfie. And what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is them doing all of their obedience commands with the distraction of each other. Um, they don't know each other. They've never been formally introduced. They're not friends. They're strangers. And we wanted to show you the kind of control that you can have of your dogs when they encounter distractions. So Rich and Fred both have their dogs at heel position on the left. If you notice the way they carry their leashes, the bulk of the leash is in the right hand. The left hand is slid down the leash so that there's not a lot of slack. So your dog is always at heel position next to you. Then they're going to take off healing together. The command is the dog's name in heel and at this point their job is to stay even with their trainer's left leg, not forging ahead. If you'll notice, Fred just corrected Shemp. He got his ears up and his body language changed and he looked a little bit like he was a little too interested in Alfie. And immediately Fred corrected him with that little tug and let go on the training collar. They leave them both in sit stays and their job at this point is to focus on their trainer, not each other. When Fred and Rich return to their dogs, they walk all the way around them, ending up back in heel position. Now Shemp got up, so Fred said no, gave a quick correction, and went all the way back around to heel position. And they're going to take off healing again. Now if you notice with Alfie, he's not turning around to look at Shem. He's not in any way out of control. And if you notice, Rich only has about six inches of slack in that leash. He has his dog right next to him. And, and Alfie's even looking up at Rich. Now they both put their dog into down commands and stay. Both dogs are lying down, staying, again, not paying attention to one another. Alfie's interested in acorns, but other than that, they're both holding their stays. They're about six feet apart. There's no aggression, no carrying on, no flying out to the end of the leash. When the trainers return back to their dogs, they walk all the way around him, uh, them. <laughs> back to heel where all of the obedience starts and stops. Rich gives Alfie and Fred gives Shem little pats for praise. And they're going to take off healing again. And if you notice, Rich just gave Alfie a little correction and the corrections are so um, subtle that you really can't even see them unless you're really focused on the trainer's left arm. Okay, they're going to leave them in a stay. stay. And we're going to attempt to down from a distance. Down. Yeah, Fred said down to Shemp and Alfie went down. That's how well trained he is. And then they're going to call their dogs in. Alfie gets confused. He's trying to respond to two trainers at the same time. <laughs> and then they go back to healing. Now we do notice on video and working with Shemp that Shemp can be interested in another dog. But when corrected and brought back to heal and told no heal, he does it without giving us any aggressive behavior or back talk. So our feeling is that we really do need to see how he reacts when he's with you because there's always a difference between a dog working with a trainer and a dog working with an owner. We're willing to work with you as much as it takes to get him under control for you. Um, Alfie's doing a great job here at school with his training and he's going to be getting ready to go home. So we wanted everybody to get a chance to see their dogs in action and we will see you soon.